Hello everyone, welcome back to another Adobe Premiere Pro 2021 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to make changes to an effect so that if you keep reusing the same effect on different pieces of footage, you can save it as a preset. Why would I do that? Well, one of my uh, people that watch my videos suggested that they're trying to make changes to some 90 fi 90s films and they want to keep making it brighter and every time they drop the effect on it, well, they got to go through a whole bunch of changes to, to keep doing it over and over. So I'm going to show you how to fix that by making your own preset. I've got some stock footage here, as you can see. I'm going to drag and drop it into the timeline. Presto, we're on our way. This footage is stock footage, and it's dark. So it's just basically, you know, a dark forest. And it's deliberately dark because that's the, uh, that's the uh, effect that we're going to work on. We want to brighten this up, and then we want to make it so that once you have all of the way the effect you want it dialed in, well, you don't have to keep doing it over and over. So the first step here is we're going to go to the effects workspace. So we want, you might be in editing, go to effects just like this. You're going to see the effects box over here. Type in lighting if you're following along with me. Taking lighting, you'll see lighting effects. I'm going to drag and drop it onto the timeline, right onto the footage. And it's going to load up a very weird looking flashlighty type look. And when we go down in, under effect controls, you're going to see that it's got a weird shape here. And what uh, one of my people that watched the video asked is they want this to go from instead of spotlight, they want it to be directional, which is what the is the effect that they're looking for. But every time they keep adding this effect, they don't want to keep having to go through all these steps every time. So here we go. So I'm just going to go ahead and increase the intensity to about 50, 40, just for demonstration purposes. So you guys can see like the big effect here off on okay now the next step and this is all it is guys is you basically want to left click on make sure you're on your effect right click now and go save to preset and I'm gonna call this 90s film lighting or something like that make it something unique so that you know exactly what it is and it's just gonna type in your 90s film 90s yeah film and then I'm gonna hit OK and here's what happens so the next time like if I was to bring in some other footage, like let's say this footage here, I'm going to drag and drop that here, and I'm going to create a new sequence with this footage. Uh, where are we? Da, 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 da. New sequence from clip. Let's say I wanted to apply that same effect to this clip, but I don't want to go through all the process of you know dialing in all the lighting and stuff like that. Look right here. You'll see 90s film lighting. That's the preset we just made. I'm going to drag and drop that onto the footage. Bang, it does it in one click, one drop. And just to make sure that I'm not just spouting off here, it has the same intensity and effect as you can see here, right here under effect controls. So this way, if you're doing a repeatable task and you don't want to have to keep dialing the effect, that's all there is to it, guys. Please, please let me know if you want to see anything in particular. I've got tons more stuff coming up. I take requests. I'll be back soon. Thanks for watching. Be back soon.